My name's Matthew Steinberg. We're at Exhibit A Brewing Company in Framingham, Massachusetts. I am co-founder and head brewer. We started brewing in June of 16. There was one of us, then two of us, then five of us, now 14 of us. I wanted to be able to walk into any store at any time, look at the bottom of my can and be like, oh, this is only six weeks old for our porter, that's all right. It's about being aware of the time that our product is spent in the package. You know, I have a lot of good friends in the business, certainly locally, um, and I, uh, you know, I called around, said, hey, what are you working with for date coating? What are you using for a depalletizer? The thing I discovered immediately was that I did not want anyone else to build my, my depal and, and conveyance uh, other than Scott, because I constantly just heard nightmares about other suppliers. We drew it out, I showed him my space, I sent him pictures of the space, and I had a blank wall. I had a big, long, 60-foot wall to play with. In this particular situation, the partnership between Scott and Markham Homage really played a role. I looked at the application. He did have some concerns about the aesthetics, the layout, and we went through the way things would look and the different types of stand options and head mounts and stuff like that. So that once he did get what he needed, it was gonna be the right stuff. For us, it was about making sure that we can grow into it, which is why we got the date coder from Markham Homage, because I know that that thing can keep up with anything we can throw at it. In fact, it's probably like, you know, oh, this is pretty slow, 80 cans a minute, come on. We have the 9450 in here. Now this printer is way more capable than they need, but it's the right printer for the environment. It's gonna handle, you know, upside down printing in wet conditions. It doesn't matter if they have the door open in the back in the summertime and it's 100 in here, or if it's 40 degrees or 35 degrees with it open in January. And they chose it partially because they can run an ink that has almost a two year expiration and that has an interval of 18 months for maintenance. And to be honest with you, they started with a different printer that wasn't suitable for the way they were printing. So we pulled it, we swapped it out and we put the right printer in. The interface is amazing. Like it's, it's very simple to use, but it's very complicated in the sense that it does a lot of different stuff. In the case of a company like Markham and Maj, it's, it seems to me that the equipment is such good quality, the, it's so reliable that we haven't really had to rely on them other than learning about maybe new inks that we can use. We just shipped a bunch of beer to Russia, so we put a Russian greeting on the, on the cans. So that's kind of a fun addition to the actual reality of we do this for a purpose of making sure our beer is fresh in the market. For most of these places, they, they don't have a lot of issues. If they do have an issue, they'll call me. If I can help them real quickly, I will. Maybe I'll stop in. If they decide to do a canning run at 5.30 in the morning, which they do, tech support is there to help them start up in the morning if they need to. There's a, a lot of support, so they do get that big customer support, even though they're small. There's enough people in our company that have a passion for beer that this is, this is something that you know, we really focus on as a business unit. The beauty of working with Scott Fab is that they just they offer the Markham and Maj as part of their program, and having that date coder has helped us make better beer, you know, or at least deliver better beer. 